so it is a, another uh, day full of totally RDF, rain, drizzle, fog, here in uh, Newfoundland, and I thought that I would do the tool time tag. Um, I believe the tag was first done by Joanne B. I'll uh, put a link to her video um, in the description of this one if I can uh, figure out how to do that. And um, so I thought I would just pop in and do the tool time tag. Um, I have been stitching all month and I've been working on a couple of different whips. I will do a whip update um, by the end of April um, to show what progress I've made for April. I just don't have much time to do it today. I had to get up this morning and take our daughter to a dentist appointment and uh, of course we went there and she has to have, um, she has a lot of anxiety, like a lot of um, phobia, really she has a phobia, an actual phobia of needles. So there's zero chance of getting her to um, get any freezing done unless she's been drugged. <laughs> so I took her into the hospital to have a little bit of minor dental work done. And um, anyway, she was a little bit loopy by the time we left there. And not like giddy kind of loopy, but you know, sad, depressed, drunk kind of loopy. So I told her, heaven forbid, she ever decides to drink when she gets older, she's gonna be one of those very depressed you know, crying in the corner, how much I love you sort of drunks. <laughs> Anywho, so the tool time tag. Um, I don't have a whole lot of tools that I like to use with my scrapbooking, or scrapbooking, listen to me, my cross stitch. <laughs> scrapbooking is my other obsession. Um, I don't have a whole lot of tools. I'm a pretty um, standard stitcher, you know, a frame and a needle and floss and a set of scissors and I'm good to go. But I do have I do have some things I guess so um, I'll go through those. The first thing I absolutely adore and I love love using um, is my Q-snap. Q-snap. Um, love it. I have this is the I don't know how well you can see that because it's an awful lot of white. This is the 11 by 11 one this is my favorite size. Um, I also have the 11 by 17. It's like, you know, much longer. Same, same height, different width. Um, love these things. I do have a hoop that I use, but definitely I'm a Q-snap girl all the way. That's the sort of frame I use. Um, my second tool is my cross-stitch stand. My husband made me a stand a couple years ago and I love it. Um, I showed him what I was looking for and what I liked and didn't like about some stands and he designed one and built it for me at a solid oak. I did do a video on my stand, a quick little video um, on my stand and what it looks like so you can check out my video for my stand if you want to have a look at that. Um, but it's great, it's totally 100% adjustable, I can pull it in or put it at whatever height I need. And the groove in the top of my stand um, fits the Q-snap. Like it, it holds it really tight and snug. It's, it's great. I love it. Uh, I guess my third tool would be a lamp. I have to have really good lighting. Um, daylight is fantastic, but um, outside of that, I do have a lamp. And I recently purchased a new one with a magnifier on it, although I don't really have a need for a magnifier right now. But I figured if I was going to get a new lamp, I might as well get one with a magnifier so I'd have that for when I needed it. And um, again, my lovely husband, uh, Mr. MacGyver, as I call him, uh, I couldn't get the lamp to attach properly to my stand because of, I guess, the... The clamp that came with it, it was loose and every time I tried to tighten it, if I moved the lamp then the then the, the clamp would twist and you know it was just it was a mess and I was 
frustrated with it and I but I wanted a lamp that was going to be portable with my stand because sometimes I, I stitch downstairs in our family room and other times I stitch up here um, like in the living room where there's much more light so he actually MacGyvered I use that as a verb and not a name really <laughs> he MacGyvered a attachment for my stand that my lamp goes into and it's solid and I can adjust it and it's fantastic I love it so yeah so that's the next thing is my lamp um, the other tool is uh, that I can't really live without is um, highlighters love a good highlighter I I don't use my iPad to cross stitch with I don't like I have PDF charts I, I, I've got lots of PDF charts but I don't like using them on my iPad I um, I prefer to print off my charts and highlight them as I go probably because I use my iPad to watch TV and movies and floss tube while I'm stitching um, because again my iPad is portable, I don't have a television in every room of the house, and so I'll watch whatever or listen to music through my iPad while I'm stitching. So yeah, I like the old fashioned print off a chart and use a highlighter to mark it off. If I don't use a highlighter, I use twistables. I don't know if um, they're like a Crayola, they're put out by Crayola, they're like a, like a, a, a cross between a crayon and a lead pencil they're in a like a pen case and you just you twist the end of it and the lead comes out that's the only way I can explain it I guess I don't, I don't know but anyway highlighters and another fantastic tool hair clips I love these I use these all the time um, they're great for holding the extra fabric um, and keeping it out of the way from my stand when I use it so that is a definite bonus tool right there. Um, needle minders. I don't like attaching needle minders to my fabric. I don't like them resting on my on my fabric. My stand that I have has um, magnets already countersunk into it, so I use those as a my scissors go on one and my needles on the other, but also, on my station next to me, I keep a couple needle minders. Um, I use a tin case to keep my current flosses in for what I'm using, like a little tin box. And these have magnets on them. I don't know how well you can see that. It's just a little acrylic. Um, I don't know what they are. They're almost like buttons or tags, I guess. And what I did was I hot glued it was a hot mess that's what that is a hot mess I hot messed <laughs> magnets to the back um, just so I can stick them on my floss tin and then my needles just they stick right to it of course um, I didn't want to get into the you know getting a certain kind of glue and figuring out how to put it together and wait for it to dry I hot glued it I used my hot glue gun and I made a hot mess and I hot glued the magnet to the acrylic thing and it works fine. I don't have any issues with it. Uh, the magnet hasn't fallen off. Um, works great. What else? Um, I guess that's about it. I Oh, I, I do have um, um one thing that I'll use when I'm traveling, if I want to take my cross stitch on a plane with me um, and I'm concerned about whether or not they're going to let me use scissors um, with the, all the flight regulations and stuff, dental floss. I have a, a dental floss, an empty little thing that dental floss would have been in and the cutter um, on that, I use that for cutting floss if I need to cut any more floss. Um, while I'm traveling. So I keep that in my little travel kit if I'm going to stitch while I'm flying or something like that. So that's really it I guess for my tools. Um, I don't really have any other tools. 
I do like um, some apps on the iPad that I use. I use a work time tracker, I think it's called, um, to log in and log out when I stitch because I'm a little bit anal like that and I, for some reason I just like to know how long it's taking me to do a pattern, a particular pattern. So I have my, it's like a project tracker app and what I did was I just um, set up the projects as the names of the um, patterns I'm working on and every time I, I pick up a pattern to do I just log in and I stitch away and when I'm done I log out and if I change patterns and I'm working on a different whip the next time I just log into that whip and log out and it just keeps track of how long I've been working on a project now that being said I watch TV, I watch floss tube, and I watch movies, all of that stuff while I'm stitching. So how long it's taking me to do a whip is not straight stitching time. It is like how long it's literally taking me to do the whip because I do other things while I'm stitching as well, like watching TV and get distracted and, you know, all that sort of stuff. But anywho, um, that's pretty much it for my tool time tag. Hope you guys have a great day. I will put up a, uh, a whip update later this week with my progress for April. And I hope everybody's having a great day. I hope the weather is good where you are. And I hope spring is coming. It's only just started here. Uh, we haven't gotten any snow in a little while. And I can see grass outside. It's fantastic. <laughs> and um, so anyway, have a great stitchy day. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.